So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw this line right here, this little curved line. So grab my trusty pencil and I'm going to cheat a little bit and I'm going to mark mine, but probably about oh halfway down and we're going to go up on a curve over to that other side. And I usually just put my the ball of my hand down there and I'm just going to do and this doesn't have to be perfect doesn't have to be straight it's not it's not anything particular so I'm just gonna draw that curve around like that and that's where my hat's gonna land so that's all I did for that so up here in the center kind of down from that little V here in the heart I'm going to draw the oval for his nose and that's basically as hard as the drawing is going to get. So if you want a round nose, if you want an oval nose, or what have you, it does not matter. So I'm just going to draw my oval. And that's his nose. Now if you want it to be, and beauty of this, you can erase that if it's not quite what you like. I have a little eraser on my, my um, pencil. I'm just going to bring that bottom edge down. I want it to be a little more full there. And I'll do that. And then I'm just going to erase that center line out of there so it doesn't sneak through my paint. So do you think you can all handle that? Not real hard. Not real hard. And that's basically it. So now we can start basing in our, our gnome guy. So up here at the top, I'm going to be using like a dusty rose color. And again, this doesn't have, you can do your hat red. You can do it any color you like. It does not matter. Um, it's entirely up to you. It does not have to be these colors at all. But this is the color that I'm using. A lot of water in my brush. So if you would rather have a red hat, go ahead and use red. It really does not matter. This is your gnome. You can paint him whatever color you like. That hat base down there. And we'll probably have to put a couple of these coats on here just because once it dries we're probably going to be able to see some of that white sneaking through there. Now I'm just going to grab a smaller brush so I can have a little more control there. And get that edge. And just go up around his nose. And if your nose didn't quite get the shape you want it to be, you can always straighten it up when you start to paint. Um, it doesn't, like I said, it's just a guide as to where you want to put the nose. We can make it a little bit wider if we want to, or make it smaller. Paint will, you can fix it all with the paint. So we'll let that first coat dry and then I'm going to paint his nose out and I use like a white peach color. Um, you can use like a light buttermilk if you want to or any light color. I'm using white peach. It's just a light, light peach color. So 
great way to recycle some some of those dollar store surfaces because when you go to the dollar store you don't always like what they have on those surfaces it's just a dusty rose a wild rose color I think it's a Delta Ceram coat actually that I'm using it's an old color that I had kick it around um, it would be comparable like a vintage rose I think in deco art would be um, comparable and I'm just gonna fill in his nose with the first coat and that again is another way to like I have a lot of old paints kicking around that I just really want to use up because I don't want to throw them out and um, this is a great way these little dollar store projects are a great way to use that paint up and then I don't feel so guilty for it sitting there and trust me I have a lot of it kicking around you know when you paint you know yourself that it's an obsession you just keep buying paint like for no good reason you see a color you like and you just buy it and then it just becomes crazy out of control it's everywhere all right so I got that first coat of my peach on his nose we'll let that dry And then we'll move on down to his beard and we're going to base his beard out with uh, a slate gray color. So that's just your basic old decor slate gray. Anything that you have, any gray you have, as long as it's not too, too light, you want it kind of to be a medium to a dark gray. Oh, do you have that one too, Susan? That's funny. I love the color though. All right, I'm just gonna clean that brush out before it dries in there. So anything from a medium to a dark gray, you don't want anything too light because we're gonna be putting white hairs over top of the gray. So you wanna be able to see the, the white hairs. So medium to a dark gray color. And when I say to a dark gray color, here's a darker gray. You could even go that dark if you wanted to. This is a Craft Smart. I think that's uh, Michael's brand, I think. And that stormy gray, you could use that if you wanted to. I'm just going to use this medium gray here. All right, I'll just get this on my plate. And we'll get the bigger part done with this bigger brush. So we're just going to fill that right in. We want to get all the boring stuff done so we can start adding some fun details and by boring I mean base coating um, it's not you know one of the most exciting things for me getting that paint down the details are the fun part I think I don't know maybe you agree maybe you disagree usually I can't wait to get my my base coating done so I can start adding all the fun things so I'll get these bigger areas done and then I'll move to a smaller brush again and get these Closer areas to the hat.
trying to not stick my hand in paint. Sorry for spinning, I just have to um, reach these little spots in here. <laughs> You're married to your job. Ew. Ew. <laughs> I not so much. Keeping you busy, Krista. Keeping you busy. Keeping you out of trouble. So there I can see right now I want to maybe change that shape of that nose a little bit right there. Do you see how it kind of went in a bit? So on my second coat of the white peach, I'll bring that down and straighten it up until I like it. But we'll let that dry first. So I'm just going to hit this with the blow dryer so we can get our second coat on and get going here. All right, so we'll just go ahead and grab our rose color again and put another coat on there. Just drying my brush out. And I think two should be good. A little something, something, a little gray in there, I think. And I think we're going to stick with the two coats should be enough to keep us moving here. Get our smaller brush. Ran out of paint. Oops, missed a spot down here on this side. I'm just going to dry that hat because I'm going to be changing up the shape of this nose a little bit, making it a bit wider, and I don't want to go into that wet paint.
So now at this point, you can take your pencil again if you want to. Um, you can just kind of wing it if you want to, but I'm just going to take my pencil and see if I can maybe straighten that up to where I like it. Maybe that's a little better. We'll try that. I still have lots of peach over here. And we'll just throw another coat on there. However it lands this time is how it's going to stay. I'm not going to get too much more particular than that. A little better, a little better. That's how it's gonna be. All right, let's put another quick coat of the gray on here down at the bottom. And I don't really have a whole lot to cover down here, just a few little spots. So I'm just gonna spot paint this where I can see the white peeking through. mostly going to be covered with little strands of hair anyway so I'm just gonna clean that up a bit and get rid of that little white spots all right so I'm just gonna give it one more quick dry and then we're going to do um, the hat band we're gonna do that little line there and we're going to draw our stripes on his hat. All right, are y'all with me so far? So far, so good? I haven't lost anyone yet. Throw me some hearts if you're still, still with me. All right, so I'll grab my pencil again. And on my original, you can see, it's probably about, oh, I don't know, that's probably about an inch and a half you think about an inch and a half up and we're just going to do the same motion the same angle that we did uh, that first line in so I'm just going to put my hand down and kind of just go right around there okay now you might not be able to see that with the glare on um, oh there you can see it there my lights down here sometimes would glare so and now for the stripes um, you can put as many stripes as you want on your hat yes this is what it looks like Brianna <laughs> um, so you can do your stripes as wide or narrow as you want there's again no rules so I'm just gonna start here at the center and make my first one and then I'll just travel over put those in there and same over here again they don't have to be perfect so we have our stripes in there and the next thing we're going to do I have now there's this gooseberry pink color that I'm going to do the off the, the every other stripe with, um, or you can use uh, which. Um, now I'm just using up my old paints, like I said. 
but this color blush pink is darn similar to it from deco art this one's a little bit darker but it's darn darn close to the same family so there's that color if you want to use it if you have that color or you want to get that color I'm just going to use my little remnants here all right so so every other stripe I'm going to do in this this color and it looks like it's not really um, a different color I just wanted it to be subtle I didn't want it to be crazy again you can do your stripes any way you like we'll get this first layer on here Now again, you probably see there, when I pop it up, you can see that it's a little bit lighter than that other rose color. <laughs> yeah, looks like you're, you're gonna have a project on your hands, Krista. if you can't find and this doesn't have to be this size of heart you can paint this on any size of heart that you want um, you could do exactly the same thing on half the size I think I have uh, smaller ones around here somewhere not that close by but even if you here's a smaller one here now this is much smaller but I mean you could do exactly the same thing on this size or one a little bit bigger it doesn't have to be this exact heart that you find or this exact size the concept is still the same you could draw it out exactly the same and that's why it's kind of great that you don't need a line drawing because you don't have to worry about sizing it and all that kind of stuff you can just draw it on there and go ahead and start painting him out have that first layer on there now I'm gonna grab I got some white out there so what I'm gonna do is just to add that little highlight to these I'm just going to put another coat of that rose color and then I'm gonna dip into some white and I'm just going to bring that up along that left side of the stripe just to give it that little bit of a highlight and you kind of do that wet on wet so I'm putting my rose color down first that second coat of rose color and then I'm gonna grab just that littlest bit of white and pull that in for the highlight so just kind of on the corner of my brush there and I'm just gonna pull that in on this side and just kind of blend it in there you don't have to blend it too much because you, it will disappear and if you do if it does disappear just grab a little more white and bring it back in there so you see that how that worked out and you can see the difference in these so I'll just keep moving along here and do the same thing all the way around all the way over I should say so make sure that bottom layer is wet with that layer of that rose color or whatever color you're using and then bring your white in on that. That, that one just keeps getting wider. I think it's so fun to um, just paint freehand like this because you know whatever happens happens. Do that 
some of that white. Things got a little awry on the, awry on this one. Played with that one too much. Okay, moving on. And that's just it. You can kind of overthink it and overwork it. So try not to uh, do what I just did and overdo. It's really not necessary. All right. So there's our stripes. Now we'll let that dry uh, for a few minutes and we'll move on down to his nose again. And how I did the nose is I'm going to put another coat of um, that peach on there and do kind of a wet on wet with this as well. You can see how I um, blended in some of this rose color onto the bottom edge of his nose. So that's what we're going to do next. So we'll put get that wet with that peach color. And I'm just going to grab a little bit more of that. I ran out. And then we're going to grab, you can grab either of the, um, the rose colors. It doesn't really matter. I'll, I'll grab the lighter one first and see how that works. I think that works okay. So we're just going to go along that bottom edge of his nose and kind of blend that in to my wet peach color. And we'll bring this around this way. Oops. Yes, I just used my spit to do that, but it's my painting. I can do that. You can do that with yours if you want to, too. Baby, wet wipes work well, too. <laughs> I'm just too lazy to grab one. <laughs> you see all my bad habits now. For the world to see. For the world to see. All right, so that looks pretty good to me. We'll leave that to dry because we're going to put a little bit of white on the top side. So that looks pretty good. So he's slowly coming together. So we'll let all of that business dry up there. And I think it's time now to grab a Posca pen. Now you can do this um, with any old paint pen. doesn't matter. Um, I use Posca pens. You can also do it with your paintbrush and your uh, fine liner or your round brush. It would just be, it would just take longer. Is all. And I'm all about let's get this done. So I'm gonna grab my white pen. And these little hairs here. So I did straight hairs first, kind of and got the direction of my hairs, and I'll show you that in a second. And then after I put these little squigglies over top of it, just to give it a little bit of uh, texture or whatnot. So I'm going to start by getting the direction down and I kind of went in the shape of, and these can cross over like this. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna load my pen here. And I just literally just brought straight lines down from the hat doesn't matter how far apart they are you can go back and fill them in you just want to get that directional thing in the shape of that heart going down to that little point do you see where I'm saying everybody's still following me and again this doesn't have to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination So 
so far so good? All right. I'll just get these ones on this side done. And we'll move over to that other side. And um, we can come back in a second and fill these in a little bit more. You see how some are a little bit wider than others. Um, again, it doesn't take long with the pen. kind of fun nonetheless this size pen is a I think it's a 0 0.7 0 0.7 Uniposca 0 0.7 millimeter you could probably use one that's a little bit bigger it doesn't really matter you'll just have thicker hairs this is what I have on hand I don't have a thicker one in white. I think I have thicker ones in... Did I lie? Oh, that one might be a little bit thicker. You could use like a little, a little bigger one with the bullet end on it. Again, it doesn't matter. There's other brands of paint pens too. I just like my Poscas. Um, you can use whichever ones you like. I'm just getting these spaced out here. Are you bored watching me um, make lines yet? <laughs> uh, I hope you haven't fallen asleep. see all my numbers dropping off everybody like oh my gosh she's draw she drew lines for 20 minutes what is wrong with that woman so boring I'm sorry it's part of the process this is the process trust the process <laughs> all right so when we get to here I'm gonna bring these down from the center and kind of go out and I'm still they're still kind of crisscrossing down here. That doesn't matter. I'm gonna have to let them go where they wanna go. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of, see Jan, now you just wanna get your hand on a pen. You wanna get your hand on a paint pen. Paint pen envy, right there. All right, we're almost there. This is probably the, takes the longest of the whole thing is making this beard. <laughs> You too, Cindy. You have paint pen envy. Okay, well, yeah, it's kind of... All right. So now you can go back, and if there's any little wide spots that you want to fill in, you can do that. And they don't. it doesn't matter if they cross over each other. They don't have to be straight lines. You can kind of let them go where they want to go. I'm just going to load my pen again. I've I know Posca pens are like a, a godsend. When I did, when I finally started using these, it's like, oh my gosh, what have I been missing? They make life so easy, and I think that they're probably like I wish I did own shares in the company, honest to gosh, because um, they are by far the best ones that I've I've tried. I'm running out of paint. I load it up. And I really like that, you know, they never seem to knock wood clog on me. Um, I can use them over and over again without any issues. And um, there was another point I was going to make, but I'm so intent on getting these lines in here that I forgot what I was going to say. And they, oh, and they... The paint stays consistent. It doesn't, uh, it always seems to be nice and bright when you put it on. 
some of the paint pens they are so thin they, they don't um oh that's okay laura glad you popped in i hope you're feeling better you can watch the replay anytime no worries So then I'm just getting those all filled in. So now that we have our lines like that where we want them, um, we can go ahead and start making the little squiggles. And these are, again, nothing fancy. So we can start, oh, let's start here in the center. So they're literally just squiggles. Can y'all see that? Do you want me to zoom in a little bit? So you can see my squiggles. So literally just squiggles and you're just gonna, this is kind of fun. It's just like doodling. You remember when you were a kid and you doodled on paper? This is like doodle fun right here. Guaranteed you will have fun making this beard. And you can cross them over each other. They don't have to be all in a straight line. You can make them go over top of each other. You want them to fill in and then you can move over here and start working these in down here. And I don't, I, I would say make sure they cross over each other. You want them to be kind of messy looking. Like that. Talk about fun, eh? I'm telling you it is. Put all these little kinky weird hairs on here. How's it looking? Pretty good, I think. And I'm just crossing some over. I gotta load my pen again. I'm using a lot of paint pen tonight. There we go, that's a little brighter. So we'll get the main ones in here and then we can come back and fill them in if we want to. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna zoom back out because I think you got the idea of what I'm doing. Never boring, oh. <laughs> I'm never boring or my painting's never boring. <laughs> I hope I'm not boring ever. Thank you for the stars, Miss Laura. Appreciate that. All right, so we're almost, you know, I'm gonna put the last few in here and then we can move on. Finally. <laughs> See how cathartic it gets though? It's just like, it's, it's like um, therapy. Like really, you could just, carry on this forever i almost forgot y'all were there i was just going on and on but isn't that cute so it's just like it's so it's so simple it's just scribbles just scribbly little lines but it, it it does the job all right so having said that we're gonna grab a black posca pen now first of all we want to put a little white highlight here on the top of his um hat band so i'm just gonna grab a bit of that hat band color and I'm going to again do a little wet on um, wet here now that all this is dry up here and 
and then we'll add once we get that wet down with that paint color we'll grab a little bit of that white and you can mix that in there for a little highlight Can grab some of that main color again and kind of just where is that color there just blend that down a bit just want to get a little bit of a highlight on the top edge there and if there's still some of that white in there don't worry about that kind of just let that go where it wants to go it's all okay this gives it a little bit of contrast there All right, so we'll grab a little bit more white and we'll just throw that up there. And I'm just kind of flicking that on there, on that edge. Same as this edge over here. I'm just going to flick some of that white in there. gets too dry you can add a little tiny bit of water or just a little bit more paint there just to smooth it down all right and you can just blend that back until you're satisfied with how that looks I think I want to add a little more white scuffs through here. Just wetting my brush a bit. And again, you can kind of play back and forth until you get it where you like. All right. So while that is drying again, I'm going to do a little bit of black shading here around the outer edge of his beard. So I'll just grab my shader brush and my black paint. And we'll get that bottom half done while that top part's drying before we go on. We're just kind of starting to come together. Alright, my shader, my shader. Done lost my shader, there it is. Just gonna get some clean water here. Just wetting my brush, and I'm just going to let me grab this here. I'm just gonna put that on the corner edge of my my brush and work that in. Now you don't want to go too heavy with the black because um, black is so stark that you can kind of get too much on there all at once, and then you won't be happy. So I'm just putting that little tiny shade under there, under the hat. And this is going to cover all those little straggly ends from your um, paint pen when you were drawing your beard there. So it will cover up those little ends. I'll just get this side. Right, and we're going to do the same thing under his nose. <laughs> my, the entertainment. Oh my. I don't know, Mary Lou. 
stick around. Stick around. It only gets better. I'm telling you. Stick around. As I get more comfortable with you, then, you know, it will get better. <laughs> It'll get more entertaining. I almost guarantee it. <laughs> I'll try to behave as much as I can. Sometimes it's not possible. All right, so there, we got that under there. Now, um, I'm just gonna take a little bit of that black out and kind of make a little sh bit of a shadow down a little bit more here. Don't want it to be just like a a straight line. I want it to be a little bit shadowed down here. So I'm just watering that down on my brush and bringing that down a bit wider there. Aw, oh, thank you, Noelle. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing just around the perimeter of, and you don't have to make this too dark, just put a little bit here on the edges, just so it doesn't look so unfinished down there. So you just want that little tiny bit. You see the difference here and here? Like it's just that tiny little bit of shade on that edge of the beard there. And that's that. All right, so now we can put a little bit of that white shade on the top of his nose. Same kind of thing. I'm just gonna mix a little bit of that peach color that we use for the nose and grab some of that white and just kind of pull that across the top of his nose here. And I'm just using my shader brush. You can use a flat, doesn't matter um, what brush you use. I just happened to, that I had this one in my hand still. And I'm just putting that little highlight on there. All right. And that's that, we'll let that dry. And now we can grab our, you know what, I'm going to um, hit this with the blow dryer because I want this completely dry before I pull out my Posca, Posca pens again because I, it will plug them if you try and use them on um, wet paint. So I'll just dry this quickly. Hey, Anita, I didn't see you pop on there. I just noticed when I was um, drawing that that you were here. All right, so we're gonna grab a black. This is again a 0 0.7, and we're gonna outline these stripes. So basically all I did was just take my black pen and I went around the nose and I outlined all of these stripes here. Nothing too crazy and so simple to do with the pen and much faster. Especially when you're doing little craft things like this. I mean, heck, why not use the pen, right? All right, we're gonna go around his nose. I haven't tried Posca pens in other colors yet, but um, I'm definitely going to. Oh, thank you, Anita. They come in a wide variety of, of colors, so I'm going to, I basically just have black and white right now, but I definitely wanna try them in different colors. All right, so let's see if I can keep my hand out of that wet paint. Mm, that's gonna be a stretch. All right, 
I don't want to smudge. So I'm just going along the top of the hat band there. We're so darn close to being done. It's not even funny. These last few, few little things will um, be quick. So I just went straight. And this will clean up any of those little edges on your stripes that are like they kind of look a little wonky right now. Well, this um, will clean up those edges. Ooh, I'll have to buy them then, Leanne. I have to get some so we can use all the colors. I don't have all the colors. You're way ahead of me. I better get on that. Amazon will be fired up tonight. Okay, <laughs> so now that we have our stripes on there, I'm going to grab my white pen again. And because this is a little bit whiter, a little lighter than my original, my, my highlight line might not, wait, let me get this down here. My highlight line might not show up as well on this one. It's okay. I'm not going to sweat it. I'm not changing my nose out because, um, of my highlight line, but we'll see if it, oh, we might be all right. So I kind of just did, I'm gonna zoom in here again. I kind of just did like two little squares for reasons unknown. Um, it was squares and then I just pulled that over there in the shape of the nose, if I can get some paint to come out of this. And then I brought that to a point like so and then I just colored it in and like I said this is a little bit light come on little pen so you can see it a little bit you can't see it near as bright as you can on my original but again no two are the same um, they're the same yet different so there, you can kind of see it there a little bit. I'll just bring her back out. Move this over, there we go. Now I'm gonna just put um, my little highlight lines on here. Let me get in the camera shot, would be helpful. I'm going to put my hearts, I'm just gonna freehand draw those hearts. There's no special tracer for this. And I put some little highlight lines on here. Um, you can do any design you want. You don't have to do the design that I picked. Um, it's all good, whatever you want to do. You can do dots, hearts, doesn't matter to me. Whatever makes you happy in your painting. So on each of these um, lighter ones, I just put a highlight line um, on this left side. Kind of did a squiggle first and then brought that line up. Same as the hat band, I did the same thing. Kind of did a squiggle first and then brought it across the top. It's kind of a broken line. It wasn't uh, consecutive all the way across. I just kind of did a broken line like that. And then I started to add my little hearts. So I added my hearts first and literally just drew them. Like that. And then filled them in. Ooh, the pen's working good now. I must have got it primed well. So we put that on there first. I'm just gonna go ahead and paint all my little hearts on, or draw all my little hearts on. And fill those in. It's just like coloring in a coloring book. Love these pens. And then we'll move on to this one. kind of fun sometimes just to to doodle draw on your painting instead of having a line drawing all the time 
Like, don't you think it's just kind of fun to, um, just to, to draw it and paint it and not be so regimented. Look, I smudged. I done did it, ladies. I did it. I knew it was bound to happen sooner or later. It's what I do. Ignore my smudging. Got my hand, my big fat hand in there. So then, I'm see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can do it again. I'm gonna flip it upside down. Maybe I'll keep my hands out of it. So I just kind of did a stitch line on either side of my hearts. that he is darn cute I have to say if I do say so myself he is darn cute I'll fix the smudges later I smudged one little heart up there all right, so I think that the last thing we have to do is put our XOXO on his beard. Now, I have to tell you that um, I cheated a little bit. I did. Because I am not the best, <laughs> it wouldn't be an event painting without a smudge. You're right. It's going to become my trademark. Smudgy. Um... I am not the best hand letterer. I'm going to say that right out loud. So what I did to get my letters where I wanted them, I took a piece of tracing paper and placed it and got my letters the way I wanted them before I put them on here. Because otherwise I would have been penciling them on and erasing them, penciling them on and erasing them. So I did do it this way just because, and I saved it from my first one because I thought, okay, it looks pretty good that way. And again, I'm not good at freehanding. So I did, you can do the same thing. You can put a different word on here if you want to. You don't have to put XOXO. You can put love. You can put anything you want on your guy. So I'm going to cheat and use my little handmade XOXO here and transfer that on there. Otherwise, you never know what you would get with me with hand lettering. Yes, Noelle, it saves me a lot because then I can kind of see where it's going to land and how it's going to look if I just trace it on over top of my... So do use that. So now for my lettering, I have a, this is a 1.8 to 2.5 millimeter. This is like the bullet tip one. This is the big, one of the bigger ones. And that's what I used for my lettering. So again, nothing special, just using the pen. Throw that on there. Another reason I traced it on is because when you're using these pens, you get a one-shot deal. This is one time, one time only, and then if you don't like it, you're gonna have to repaint over the whole thing, and Holmes doesn't roll that way. I don't wanna roll that way. I would probably never revisit it again. It would just sit there, because I'd be so frustrated with myself. All right, so we're getting these little guys on here. There we go. And then I just put my little dots on the ends of my letters. You can see there. And that's literally just drew my little, filled in my little circles with my pen. And we're gonna call him done. What say you? He looks good to me. 
So what do y'all think? I think he turned out pretty good. And you can see like, I don't know, I think they're pretty darn close. They look like twins. Yeah, a little bit. His, this guy's nose is a little lighter than this one, but yeah, they look pretty twin-like. <laughs> Twinsies. There you go.